right? That that that's how we set the stage. I didn't beg him, okay? Nor did I say get flowers from the grocery from the food section. Um, nor did I feed him lines because the other thing that was in there was were actors. And, and that's the shit that pissed me off. I'm gonna tell you why. You can say what you want about me. I, I, one thing about me, I was a child of God, so I only care about what my, you know, the men I serve think about me, right? But don't, don't do that to the integrity of my production, because my producers leave their hometown, their family, their kids, to come to Huntsville to make sure that this cast has a great show. So don't do that to me, nor my production. And more importantly, don't do that to the cast. Okay, I'm not Tyler Perry, Shonda Rhimes, David Duvernay, Will Packer. You know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't have, this is no shade to me, I don't have the mental intelligence to create something out of thin air and say, hey, Melody, so you, when you go in there, girl, you're going to say this, you're going to say, I got coins to make, not friends to fake, honey. Yeah! You, I, I, I'm not that bright. When it comes to that, I follow the reality. So that was was disgusting to me because it's not true. And I was disappointed because there's history here. Like the reason why we have a love and marriage coming bill is because they came to me wanting to do a show and then collectively we, we talked about what it could be. So there is history there. And I'm gonna be very honest, my, my heart was broken because it's one thing for you to be mad that at that time is how you felt. Don't throw me into the mix. And, 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 and don't do it to the point where now you're having people question my integrity, right? Okay, hold on, baby girl, my, my, my sweet baby, okay? So then I did speak to Melody. I mean, you know, I'm like, did I miss something? And, and, and the thing for me more so was, it just wasn't true. Like it was true, I'll say, okay, but it just wasn't true. So when you saw that, what went through your mind? Because, again, I said this earlier, you take the show very seriously. And we're, there, there's no acting on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now these other reality shows, child. You know, they, they're, 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 they're. <laughs> Go ahead, boo. And it was blasted by, and it had to come from him, and it was Carlos and 
forget how the Melometers came about. The Melometers came about because every one of y'all got on the stage, on the stage right now, started attacking me as a human.
Thank you for calling and checking on me, but I'm worried about my kids. I need to find my kids. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, I will say that, and my brother says this about me too, because he's like, I bet if he had came to you and apologized, knowing you and how your heart is, you probably would have forgave him and never even allowed to sign the warrant.
the lack of maturity, you know, um, just the, the inability to just be a full-blown man, you know, where it's like, you know what, we didn't work out, but you know what, I'm going to leave her alone because I messed up, it is what it is, right, let me just leave her alone. Um, I never thought that I would be wishing that I had a family. And that's where I am. And I shared that, you know, with my family. Like, dang, like, why ain't I being used by somebody else? Because this just, it just keeps going. It's just going. It's just going. And it's like, when, when is enough enough? And when do we stop funding the madness? That's the other concern. Like, when do we stop funding the madness? When is, you know, I, I was doing this interview with you, Carlos, but I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't remember the last time I sat down and even did an interview. Like, real talk, so I film for the show, but I'm not out here thinking of ways to degrade people and come at people and everybody interview me so I can talk down about everybody. I ain't on that kind of time. Like, life is too short. Life is too short. I got too much in my purpose to be focusing on that that's not my focus. So when I have this, this, this person that continuously attacks, it, it becomes a lot. And you, I don't know if you know that, but fortunately, this network's, I have my own therapist. She's here tonight in the audience. Dominique is somewhere in here. But own gives us therapists as well. And so I've had conversations with them too, you know, about where I am and how I'm feeling. I will say this one thing that you did do is anytime I had a scene, you made sure security was there. So I appreciate you. Yeah, no, you all want to make sure that anybody who's associated with the kingdom feels safe. And, and that feels and looks differently for every person, right? And that's the reason why, again, you and I have personal conversation. And the one thing that I just, you're a very strong woman, right? And you have this strength that is just so magnificent that I sometimes wonder, like, what did she get it from? But also know that there's nights where you cry yourself to sleep at night. You know what I'm saying? Like there's nights, because I, I don't want people to think like you said, like you are, yay, this happened, and yes, I'm happy, because at the end of the day, I always look at you and I do wonder because I work on other reality shows where the woman decided to stay, or she did leave and she got back together with them. You know what I mean? And, and for you to be able to do that and, and to do it publicly, and I even remember, and you don't <laughs> know this, after the first season, I just knew, I was like, oh, it's over, and I mean, I feel horrible that this happened. And then the, re the first reunion, I went to y'all dressing room, and you're pregnant, and I'm like, what's going on? He said, we're back together. I said, damn, bitch, <laughs> I was shocked. I was shocked. But I want people to know this, because I don't think you get a lot of credit for this. You follow your heart. And I know some people think you follow the trend of what your audience may want you to do or what the world wants you to do. One thing that Lala Anthony said that I saw you repost and I thought of you when she said this, when she said what people don't understand when a woman files for divorce, it's the hardest thing in the world because it's easier to stay. It's easier to stay. It's harder to make the decision to leave and, and I know that when it comes to like the housewives, they divorce somebody, Peter Thomas at the bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't see them no more. And the housewife gets to like do her thing and date and all this other stuff. You are the first woman in reality television history to have to film with your divorced husband. You know what I mean? And I, I've never asked you this personally, uh, but since we're all friends, I'm going to ask you from the, you know, everybody. Um, how hard is it to come to work every day knowing that huh, I have to deal with this? And were there moments where you like, is this show even worth it? They were like, what's wrong? You know, is it? 
whenever you are sharing the spotlight, so to speak. Um, thank you. Um, get someone they use that spotlight to constantly torment you. And, um, you know,
boom, 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 boom. And then there were tons of like personal conversations, right? Like, what you gonna do? You know, did, did this person be on the show? Because baby, that's up to y'all. Like, I'm not gonna be this sneaky producer. Like, walk through the door, Mel D. You're gonna be surprised by somebody. Like, it wasn't that type of show. So we have those conversations. So we're gonna be real tonight, right? So obviously, I left the Real Housewives of Atlanta, left the, left the city of Atlanta, moved to Los Angeles, built this show, hired a great team of producers um, to be in Huntsville, and I worked my ass off to be there day to day. And But as I was building this empire, right? So what people don't realize is, yes, I'm the creator, I'm the executive producer, I'm not there day to day, every single day, minute to minute, boots on the ground, right? Traveling, you know, all that stuff. So at one point in time, the show got me so big, right? I'm still involved, but I'm not as involved as I used to be. Because I have my, oh, I got this on the show today, I got this go collective, I got this, and my podcast, I got all this stuff, right? So me and her never had, we've never had an argument, ever in life. So I didn't know. You know how, like, when you have a, a straight A student, and you feel like, oh, they're good, they're just child, like, they worry about these with the, the D's and the F's, child. You know, like you 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 pay you pay more attention to like the ones who need you. And I felt like, oh, she got this. She don't need me. So the calls didn't um, happen as frequently. Cause I was like, oh, that's a that's a that's a boss on call, child. She good. Like she don't need me as much as she used to. Now, um, Latrice Walters needs me or Bell Collector, uh, Latisha. You know, like I, that was my thing, right? When there was there was that. And then one day, she, last year, she called me. And she said, can you and I talk? I'm like, yeah, always. Every time she calls me, I pick up, right? There, there's never, she don't get sent to voicemail. Or every time she has called me, I pick up the phone. Like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Again, because she doesn't call me when she doesn't, like, you know what's wrong with you? And we had an hour-long conversation. And she shared with me what she was going through. And I said, I had no idea. And I said, I'm sorry. I, I, I just didn't know you were going through that. And then I said, what do you need me to do? What do you, I, I, what, what, what needs to happen? And that's when we started to put protocols in place to make sure she felt like she was being heard and things were happening. And obviously I work with networks and I can tell everything, child. But I, it, it was beautiful to have that conversation, right? Because when you don't know, you just don't know. But the moment I knew, activation started to happen, right? And that, that goes to show you that um, there is this honesty that we have with each other. Where she said to me, she said, you know, I just, I said, what? Well, what you know, I just, I, I, I can trust you no more. I said, it's me? What are you talking about? Uh, she said, I'm just being real with you. And, but, the beauty of this, and I'm not embarrassed by this, I feel shame for it, but for me, it was one of those things where I felt like I just didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I said to her, while I was busy raising my other kids, me my shows, while I was busy raising them and building them up, I had no idea that you took it as abandonment, and for that, I apologize. And I will say that publicly, I, I apologize. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know. Um, but I don't know, Kyla, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know money. But, 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 but it, 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 it shows you that, again, I want you guys to understand this. This is a tough job to have. Being on TV, exposing your real life is tough. And then when you have someone like me, and I hear, Carlo, you need to talk about other people, y'all. Fuck about y'all have. You know, I'm on your own law. Like, you open the deal, they law. I see the reason. Some of them are funny, quite funny. Some of them not so much. But some of them are cute. But the reason why I'm happy to have this conversation with you is because I really want people to know how this works. And that I'm never going to be somebody who doesn't take accountability for myself to say, I could have done better and I should have done better. I apologize so much. If you ever felt for a millisecond that I abandoned you, or wasn't here for you, or was doing whatever, you know, for, for, for the show, because if that was the case, if this show ever became for my love and adoration for you, then a sideboard would have been on the show season one. So we all know that I have always made sure to show you that this ain't gonna be that. So, but thank you for that.
And I'm happy that y'all, so leave me alone, little leaders. I don't know what I'm saying. I got to stop leaving me, little leaders. Go ahead.